Do you have faith in your chief? Yes, yes. After yes. all of this? As I talked to you, Chief Finner is our chief. New at 5 and only on 2, an exclusive conversation with Houston Mayor John Whitmire. KPRC 2 Investigates asked him the tough questions regarding criminal cases suspended by HPD. Thank you for joining us for KPRC 2 News at 5. I'm Keith Garvin. Good evening. I'm Daniela Guzman. This is Mayor John Whitmire's first interview since his police chief, Troy Finner, revealed to Houstonians that over 260,000 criminal cases, including 4,000 sex assault cases, were never investigated due to a lack of staff. It is an interview that you will see only on two. Whitmire took the time to speak with investigator Mario Diaz after this morning's city council meeting. Mario is live in the newsroom. Mario, as we saw, the mayor still believes in his chief. Keith, he does, but new mayor John Whitmire also making it very clear he is concerned over what has happened and is waiting on a full investigation to be completed by HPD, a department that now has a documented track record of not fully investigating various violent crimes involving Houstonians. Do you have faith in your chief? Yes. Houston Mayor John Whitmire believes in his police chief, Troy Finner. A week after the chief revealed more than 4,000 sex assault investigations and more than 260,000 investigations department-wide were discreetly dismissed out of the public's view due to a lack of manpower. It's alarming that for years now, uh, HPD has handled serious investigations by just saying we're not going to get to them because of lack of staffing. What it, defense is there for that to happen? Well, it's an ongoing investigation. Uh, we got to get to the bottom of it, see how broad it is. It's growing daily. Mayor Whitmire telling KPRC2 investigates the scandal involving HPD and Chief Finner, who knew about sexual assault investigations being dismissed in November 2021, but didn't truly start investigating this issue until earlier this month, is not good for the victims, Houstonians overall, and the morale of HPD officers who are doing their jobs properly. The mayor adding crime stats were not being accurately portrayed during the previous administration. We're not going to play games by telling people, oh, don't worry, crime's headed in the wrong, right direction. It's not. It's only because they have suspended thousands, hundreds of thousands of cases and not leveled with the public. One no. safe Houston is really one unsafe Houston is what I'm hearing. Absolutely. Since revealing the failures of HPD's investigations while he's been the city's top cop, there have been numerous questions asked of Chief Finner. Why should women in the city of Houston trust and respect you knowing that this has been going on under your watch? I think I've been here much longer than you and uh, we're not going to make anything personal. Uh, people know my heart. The one question that we have heard from many is how can Houstonians trust any investigation into his department by Chief Finner? if he knew about this practice years ago. They're reaching out to their concern. The bottom line is the chief is investigating. There's an internal investigation. Who knew what and when? Do you have faith in your chief? Yes, yes. After as, all of this? As I talk to you, Chief Finner is our chief and I want him to do his job and we'll all be held accountable, including me and hopefully you too. We'll talk later. Yeah. So Mayor Whitmire answered our questions, but what about HPD Chief Troy Finner? We offered the chief a sit down interview with me 24 hours ago to get his side of the story. He declined. HPD says he will be having a news conference. The date and time of Chief Finner's news conference is still unknown. We, of course, will have that news conference on air and on click2houston.com when it happens. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 investigates. All right, Mario, thank you. And our